Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be launching into my morning routine as a new mom. I talk about my tips on how to stay on track and show you a little snapshot into an average day in the life. We've got our coffee, so let's get into it now. It's just something about mornings. I'm tired but getting up before the world wakes up, at least that's how it feels, because it's still dark outside. It just centers me in a way that nothing else can. It's hard to get up sometimes, but it's just so worth it to me to have like a few hours that are just mine, to do whatever I want. Any moms out there need a sign, that extra push to just start getting up earlier, here it is. <laughs> I think today's gonna be a good day. It's a true, day in the life it's a very normal average day for me a good day i'm really excited i need to get out of the house i get stir crazy if i don't get out now that i've got my coffee we're gonna go down to a little room that's in our basement we call it the prayer closet it's this little tiny little room downstairs just tucked away from everything it's just the sweetest little spot <laughs> Usually to start off this time, I check out my to-do list for the week. I keep a small journal of to-dos throughout the week that I write down in there. I've tried in the past to keep notes in my phone, but I've noticed that when I check my to-do lists in this time, I am so distracted and it's so easy to get on Instagram or respond to texts. And I just really want this time to be completely technology free. I'll go through the things that I completed the previous day and this helps me to stay on track with household chores, with work. Once I'm finished with that, I go ahead and start journaling or reading my Bible or reading the book that I'm reading and usually spend some time just praying and sitting in God's presence. <laughs> You're the boy. Say good morning, buddy. Good morning. <laughs> 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 We did everything except this, <laughs> the last probably 5% of the house a uh, year ago. I'm glad that you're doing it, baby. Well, you did Thanks all this. Thanks for helping. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Are you ready for a nap? You seem like it. You seem a little lethargic. <laughs> Guess the last time I washed my hair. A week ago. You guessed it. <laughs> Proud of that? No. I'm not proud. Shepard slept okay last night. He's teething hard right now. So he's waking up a couple times every night, which is fine. It's really hard to like hear him cry and just, you can tell he's just so uncomfortable and I just hate that. Unlike other days, I actually have somewhere I have to be at when he wakes up from his nap. So I've been using this Neutrogena Hydro Boost product for literally 10 years. Now blush, I've been using this Undone Beauty blush stick in the shade Cherry. I got it from Ulta and I really, really like it. It's super small, which I love. And I just put it like up here and because it's summer, I also put like a little bit on my nose. Next, I'm going to use my Benefit Eyebrow Pencil in the shade 4.5. And I actually use this for something else than what it's meant for. It's meant for my eyebrows, obviously, but I use it actually for eyeliner because it's really skinny and discreet. Okay, next, brow gel, another Benefit product. And then to finish everything off, I'm gonna do the Undone Blush Stick again, just on my lips. All right, I'm done. shirt skirt vibe of every mother needs spandex i literally don't wear 
any skirt or dress without spandex. I think that's most women probably, but especially now, no way. Now for accessories, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Should I do this vibe, a little sparkle sparkle, or a little pearl? I think I'm feeling this, the sparkle. Necklace or no? No. No? No. Okay. Decided that my hair is too greasy to wear it down, so I'm gonna put it in a clip. Shoes. Boom. Nothing like a cup of cold coffee. Said mom's everywhere. It always happens I get distracted or my son wakes up and it gets cold. Nothing hits better though than an afternoon cup of leftover cold coffee from the coffee pot. That, that's where it's at. Alex has been making this homemade granola. It's so yummy. Like. It makes the house smell amazing. Been my go-to breakfast for like a couple months. We have it every single morning. It's Greek yogurt, his homemade granola, and some fruit. They're so good. So for the last couple minutes before he wakes up, I'm going to jump on my computer and do some work and finish eating my breakfast. Not the most aesthetic lunchbox you've ever seen, but <laughs> great way to reuse these. <laughs> Today I'm gonna have this homemade Mediterranean salad with some chicken. For a snack, I'm gonna have the PB Fit powder. <laughs> and I just put the powder in here. It like scratches the itch of peanut butter, but it's half the amount of calories. Really like it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to it and then stir it up. Now it's peanut butter. Amazing. Last part of my lunch, Coke Zero. When it's a normal size can, I never finish it, so I love these little miniature ones, but this is the last part of my little lunch. Good morning. We're gonna have a good day today. You still look sleepy. Bye, love you. Love you too. That wraps up the day in the life. We're getting ready to go on our date to the movies. Are you excited about our date night? Yes. We're going to Chick-fil-A for dinner. Always hits the spot. And I use that Chick-fil-A app. Always get free stuff. Thanks for watching if you got this far. Comment. See you next, <laughs> you gotta say that every time. But now it's Comment a anything. I've gotten some weird comments. I'd love to see some comments. Wait, wait. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on other platforms like Instagram and Pinterest. Okay, now you can put your hand over it. We'll see you next time.